Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. Hi there, Lloyd Macedo. It's been you from LloydMacedo.com. Who's Lloyd Macedo and Pink Personal Branding? All right. I just thought I'd give you a bit of breaking news, which I just got um, because, you know, it's better to give you some information rather than no information. Okay. Um, this is what I've received from people who are actually there in UAE. Uh, number one is Chalu Group. Chalu Group, it seems, has uh, 12,000 employees. It's a privately held luxury retailer distributor group headquartered in Dubai, UAE. So they will be terminating people. Um, it, it's unofficial, but um, this is from a guy who's working there. He said 1,200 jobs would be going. Okay, uh, 1,200 jobs, that is one. Another one from a guy who's working in Arab tech, he has told me that around 4,000 people, uh, contractors, um, you know, temporary, permanent, 4,000 of them, they'll be removing. Um, Emirates, a huge number of CVs. I mean, it's been crazy. I've been getting so many people uh, from Emirates Airlines who have been sending me messages of them losing their jobs. It's really sad because... There are quite a number of them. Many of them have worked for 15 years, 20 years. And um, some people are saying that it's only majority expatriates. Some people are saying it's a mix. But across the board, majority are expatriates. And it's not like the uh, people who have worked for many years are also losing their job. There are youngsters who have lost their jobs. There are newbies who have lost their job. There are people who had been on training. And... Um, you know, so there is no like fixed that if you are an old timer, you lose your job or if you're young. Uh, but my gut feeling says that uh, they are targeting uh, people whom they feel they can get rid of and keep those who can work, you know, who have a multiplicity of tasks, who can undertake. Um, that's at least as far as my analysis goes. Okay. Um, then I'm all near Dubai Saja Highway. We were supposed to be full of computer shops. It's closed. There's only one shop, it seems, on the first floor. It's Joanna Fashions. There's no food court. Uh, I checked with a couple of guys who have uh, shops in uh, shopping malls. Uh, restaurants, literally nothing. They are shutting down one by one. Um, most of them have perishable goods. Most of them, if they take their employees, they need to pay them salaries. So the... One of the guys who studies economy, uh, the economy of UAE or the Middle East, he says 80% of all restaurants will be shutting down. Um, uh, I checked with a couple of people who have online stores. Uh, they said uh, for the past four months, they have not made any purchases. Uh, they're just trying to sell. Initially, when UAE moved into a lockdown, they didn't sell anything. Now it seems they're slowly opening up. Most of the small businesses uh, that are online, they are surviving with skeleton staff of one to three people. Um, Emirates Airlines, again, one more news is uh, some departments, they have just called people and 60% were terminated. Uh, the next round of terminations for Emirates Airlines is happening in September. And please, guys, if you are applying for jobs, I've told you, at least work on your resumes. At least make it decent, man. I mean, you just slap information on a Word document and you start sending people who's going to give you jobs. Agreed, you have worked for 20 years or you worked for 30 years, but nobody gives a fuck as to how many years did you work. They want what they believe is perceived value. I am getting people who are sending me, like, if anyone from... Uh, NMC group or anyone from Emirates Airlines has lost their job, send it to me. I am forwarding whatever I can. But, you know, if you are going to give a rubbish resume, nobody is going to take it seriously. You know, I, I know that, you know, you want to cut down your cost. You want to check on Google and copy paste, whatever. But if you don't work hard on yourself, you know, nobody is going to take you seriously. Um, another thing which I want to tell you is for people who have disputes with their companies, if you take your company to labor, what is written on your labor contract will be considered not what is on your salary certificate. So if you're on your salary certificate, it says 10,000, but on your labor contract, it says, 
you know, 2000, the labor will consider what is signed on your labor contract. I've told you this before and uh, now you guys are realizing. Um, I also want to make, I don't know why you guys don't use your common sense. Please understand that UAE is not a free country with free open communication. Okay. You start posting videos on social media, on YouTube. And if somebody complains, anybody complains, even if it's a local, uh, especially if it's a local and they complain about it, you're in deep trouble. Um, a guy lost his job. He posted the rant on YouTube. I don't know what the fuck he was, was he thinking. Uh, he's in deep trouble now. Yeah, the employer is taking him to court. A female from Emirates Airlines posted a video about uh, something about Emirates Airlines because of the legal aspect. I'm not going to mention what. Uh, she's in trouble. I don't know whether Emirates complained about it or whether somebody else. And I, I'm trying to get the video, but I don't know. She said something that she shouldn't have said about someone or about the company. I'm, I don't have specific idea. So if I don't know for sure, but yes. It's an ex-employee of Emirates Airlines posted something and was in UAE. As long as you stay in UAE, do not. I've told you again, do not post anything about UAE, about uh, the company, about anything. Because if, you know, as long as you stay in the country, you are uh, ruled by the rules and regulations of the country. Okay. 50% uh, of, uh, it seems, malls are offering uh, discounts on their rent. But then when I checked with some other people, they are saying that uh, the, the malls have said, you can just shut down your business and leave. We don't care. Uh, one of my friends actually took on the challenge when they said, okay, you can shut down your business and leave. Um, he went, said, I'm closing down. Initially, they were very rude. But later on, the person, um, it seems the manager from the shopping mall who represents came down, cooled things down and said, okay, fine. Because my my that friend's business was bringing in most of the uh, you know footfall. So they give him a 50% off. So, well, there is hope. But then uh, by default, they're not going to give you a discount. Uh, I asked some other people, uh, you know, because they put in the newspaper that uh, shopping malls are giving a 50% reduction or uh, the government is supporting. But as far as I've checked, I don't see anybody coming forward and telling me, yes, Roy, they are giving us discounts. I was pretty surprised on YouTube, this Emirati wrote to me. I don't know. This is what he says. This is what it says. As an Emirati, please just say so because one, I'm a UAE national who doesn't want to harm expats and Emiratis and we refuse racism in the country. Two, you're a trustworthy channel with more than some of the media. I don't mean all the media. So um, it's nice to know that Emiratis are also supporting expats. Like I've told you, not all Emiratis are bad and we can't judge like all Emiratis and all Indians. Now, last but not the least, I just want to say that uh, during this difficult time of crisis, please don't uh, fuel hatred. You know, don't fuel hatred. Don't create fake accounts. Um, the UAE, see, you may, you may think you're very smart having a VPN and uh, creating a fake account, but if someone wants to zero down on your location, know who you are, it is impossible to fool the intelligence of the country. So please don't break the rules. Don't try anything funny. Uh, respect. See, when I was in UAE, as long as I stayed in UAE, I respected the rules of the country. I followed. That is why if you check my videos before when I was in UAE, there was never anything that spoke even one single thing bad about UAE because I respected the law of the land. After I left UAE, after I shut down, everything got to do with UAE. Then I slowly said, okay, this is the reality. This is the truth. But even today, I still love the country. I still care about the country. I still, you know, I still believe that there's a lot of good in UAE. And I still tell you, UAE is the best, the best place in the Middle East. If you compare Saudi, if you compare Kuwait, if you compare Bahrain, if you compare um, Oman, UAE is the best place for you, for expats to make money, to live a comfortable life. So, for me, UAE is hands down the best place, okay? Um, there, but there's no place that is perfect. So in the same way, UAE also is not perfect. And UAE supports its citizens, that you have to agree. And as long as you're in UAE, you're run by the laws of the country. And keep in mind, for those of you who keep harping about, um, you know, UAE is unfair, 
you, nobody forced you to come to UAE. You came to UAE by your own free will. So if you come to UAE by your own free will, you you know you have to follow and respect the laws of the land. So stop bitching about. I think yes, there is racism. Things are unfair, but take a little bit of personal responsibility um, and be in charge of your life. Stop acting like a fucking victim. That's what I would want to tell you. So these are the updates that I want to give you. As I get the updates, I'll share with you. Um, if you have anything, please share with me the information. But very important, which I want to tell you is be mindful of the fact that whatever you post on social media, whatever you put on YouTube, whatever you send as an email, whatever you put on Facebook, if it goes against UAE's laws, if you... Even TikTok, some some of you are idiots putting even the currency, you're disrespecting the currency, disrespecting the land, trying funny videos. If anyone complains, anybody fucking complains and they zero down on your location on, you know, they can track you down. You're fucked. So please use social media wisely. Respect the land. When you leave UAE and you're never going to come back, then you do whatever the fuck you want. But as long as you're there, learn to respect the rules. I'll keep sharing with you updates as I receive. This is the latest update that I wanted to share with you. Uh, keep me posted. My details are down below. This is me signing off. Take care. Don't you hate it when that happens to you? When it does, you need this and this and this. When it happens to me, I always know where to go. When you've got professionals on your side, your problems don't stand a chance. What are you waiting for? Contact them today and let them take care of your problems.